Hello, welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. This tutorial is about flattening. I'm going through demonstration here and explain what this means. We have a scan bottle, just a normal one, for which we would like to create a label here. Now, if we just cut off a label from a flat sheet, probably there will be issues to stick this on this uh, bottle. As you can see, because this is just a normal scan, someone had this label already, or on the other side, like here. But let's assume for now there is no label and we want to create one. Here is the workflow that you can do with Quick Surface. The first step is you're going to select Surfacing and then 3D Sketch. I'm going to draw artistically the shape that I need to achieve just by clicking on the reference mesh here with the double click. I will just create another spline here. And because this is rounded, I will just not close it. I will just create my 3D sketch here. Perhaps this corner needs to be sharp. It's really in your hands to design the way how this should look like. I just finished drawing with a double click. <coughs> Here where I want to have this rounded, I'll just use our blend curve command and we'll create a blend curve between the two curves. I'm going to modify this 3D sketch a little bit so I can get the desired shape just by dragging. You can use the handles to change the curvature. And this is the shape that I am looking for at the moment. As you can see, I created the curve just with the three points in this case. So this is really not very accurate lying onto the underlying mesh, but this is not so important for now. Once I have my design created, I can press OK. The next step that I need to do is actually use our fill surface command, which is located under the surfacing menu or you can find it in our surfacing tab, which is located here. I select the fill surface command. Before I continue, I will just make sure that the select edge chain option is enabled. This will allow me, when I click on this curve, automatically to pick all the connected edges that I created, and the software automatically will create a surface which is bounded by these curves. Now, the problem with this is that it actually does not represent the underlying mesh. What I mean with this is it doesn't take into account how the topology is, but only the 3D sketch. In many cases, due to the way it works, it may not approximate the underlying mesh. For this reason, we have something that is called on-scan data. The command on scan data will actually analyze the underlying mesh and will create a surface which fits really well the scan data. If you can see here, we have a difference between our created curve and the resulted surface. The reason for this is that our on scan data method puts the surface directly onto the scan data, regardless of how the shape look like based uh, on the 3D curve. And that's why it gets much better results. Now you can cancel this and go in 3D sketch and get closer and redefine your 3D curve. But for now, for the demonstration, I'll just leave it as it is now. I can press OK. If I just go to the main toolbar and press compare, you can see how close I am with the underlying mesh. This is too tight tolerance, so I can probably put it 0.1 millimeter, which is good enough for me to understand uh, the quality of my results. I will just hide for now the 3D sketch, and this is my surface, which looks like the label that I want to print. The next step that I need to take is to actually flatten this. We have a flatten command, which is located under the surfacing toolbar, well, how we call it workspace. The way it works is you just select the surface and then you choose the flatten command. Flatten command doesn't have 
parameters or so. It just takes and makes the best way to flatten the, the shape that you have preselected. And the end result is actually a 2D sketch. 2D sketch is just another primitive which is created in Quick Surface. And now I'm going just to right click on it and go to edit. As you can see here, it created these curves. What the next step should be for me is just to export this for the purposes of 2D applications. I'll just make sure into the options of the export to the sketch that I have pre-selected DXF R14. The reason for this is because this file format supports splines and this is the right way to do it and I can just make sure that this is, has been selected. I will then press export in order to ex export this um, for my needs. I will just um, pick something um, on my directory which is relevant into the flatten and here I have something which I call bottle. In order to complete my demonstration I'm just uh, using uh, Inkscape, it's a free software that is similar to um, Adobe Illustrator but you can use your professional tools and I'm going to open what I created just uh, so far which is this DXF file format, I press open. Now I just uh, make sure that everything is selected um, to read from the file. The reason for this is that everything is in millimeters, so we need to keep the dimensions and I'll just press OK. You can see that here, this is uh, the profile has been created. I can just pre-select everything, probably I, I can group it. Honestly, I'm not very good in this type of software but you you might be way better than me and then you can just adjust this and place it and from here you can just go and print it onto uh, the specific uh, paper which uh, you can just uh, use uh, further. Now I'm going to show you another application which is really interesting and for example, if you want to put stickers on the car, like this one. The way you do this is exactly in the same way. And for the demonstrations, I will just uh, go and create new. And we will open another example, which I have here. This is a scanned um, piece that you would like to create a sticker. As you saw, one way of uh, doing this is by creating a 3D sketch and then create a few surface command. But also what you can do is just using our freeform tools I'm going to show today. The freeform is available on the main toolbar. Uh, you can learn from the tutorials how to use this in details. But for now I'll just uh, create uh, my patch network here, which works like this. And then I can just duplicate what I'm trying to do in the best possible way to get this shape, which is um, on top of the scan mesh. Here I can continue and just uh, try to wrap around my shape. In this case, I have a sharp corner. I can create this as a crease shape and we'll carry on uh, to create my patch. That will be my label. Here I will just split. As you can see, it's so easy. You can just uh, drag and everything is snapped onto the underlying mesh until you get the desired results. For the purposes of accuracy here, if I just uh, evaluate, this is really off from my scan data. I can use the tools like, uh, for example, select this edge, press the S command to split. You can see that it's automatically created this. You can get a very detailed tutorials of how to use our freeform tools. Don't hesitate to explore. This is not the main goal of this demonstration. I'm just trying to create the shape that approximates in the best possible way the shape that I need to create. And my goal today is just to show you that uh, you can use these tools also to flatten the shape. I can explore here the quality. Perhaps I can increase the resolution, tweak in real time just to get this as accurately as possible of our underlying uh, 
mesh and you can see that this is a uh, state-of-the-art uh, real-time analyzer I can probably just increase the resolution split this here until I get the desired accuracy and I can press close now as we have this uh, very close the next step if you remember that I can do is just select this one go to surfacing and then press plug you can see that uh, the software took this uh, information and unwrapped and created this as a 2d sketch I can just go and edit now this is my result here you can just again export this as a cover shape and again in your favorite uh, 2d package you can just I'll just delete this I can go and import this and uh, which was uh, this shape I can place it here you can see that this is way bigger but this is the shape that you have and from here you can just send it directly to the uh, cutting machine that can cut the vinyl and you can just create your shapes and put it in the application like the one on the screen. I hope this tutorial was useful. Thank you for watching.